Hey guys, CB Super. So in the last video, I showed you how to take a single polygon dragon, cut them up, and then add a little bit of animation. And if you haven't watched that video, head on over to the link in the description, because this video might not make a whole lot of sense unless you've already watched that video. So some of you guys asked how to actually do the fire effect. Well, I actually got that fire effect from Triune Digital. You can head on over to Triune Digital and I purchased this Extinction Sci-Fi Weapons Pack. Now I didn't get the 4K version, I actually got the 1080p version, but you can find the 1080p version right here and you'll notice that it's quite a bit cheaper. It's only $58 versus the $80 or so. Now I actually purchased mine while they were having a really big sale on Black Friday. So if you can wait, I probably would wait till Black Friday. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial and I'll show you how to take this fire effect and plug it into his mouth. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to remove the black background from the actual fire effect. All of the effects come with this black background. Now the easiest way to remove that is to simply use a luma keyer. So I'm going to go ahead and use a luma keyer and you'll notice that it already takes it out. Now I've also lost a little bit of the intensity of the fire. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring a little bit of that back. I'm going to probably bring that back to about 0.65 or so. If you bring it back too far, you'll notice that you start to get more of the black background background back and I definitely don't want that. So if I need to bring up the intensity, there's other ways that I can use that using color correction effects and whatnot. But to be honest, I think this looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as it is. So with this Luma here already established, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this transform where the polygon left off in the last episode. So this is just one portion of it. If I bring it all the way down, you can see that the entire dragon is in fact animated, but really the head is the only part that moves. So I don't necessarily want to have to reanimate this effect to match the animation of the dragon, which is what I did the first time around. There's a much easier way to do this. I'm just going to parent that effect to the actual head. But I want to do that before this transform because the transform is where all of the animation takes place. So I'm going to go ahead and take the output of this Luma here and I'm going to drop it on the output of this instance background. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make a really weird looking streak in the center of this and that doesn't really make much sense. So I'm going to go ahead and load the merge into the viewer and now we'll see exactly what's taking place. It doesn't do me any good right now because the fire is in the normal location that it would be, but the head is way over here and it's already started animating. So I'm going to need to move that. So in order to move that, I do not want to move that in this merge. What I want to do is I actually want after the Luma here, I want to go ahead and shift space to bring up the select tool and I'm going to type in XF for a transform node. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and that's going to drop the transform node between the Luma here and the merge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and load this into the viewer and we'll see that I can't really see anything. And the reason I can't see anything is because this takes place before the merger of the head. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the merge into the viewer, but I wanna select the actual transform. If it's not selected, just go ahead and use the left mouse button to reselect that transform. Now I can grab the center handle here and I can just bring it over to where the mouth is. But you'll notice that it's not facing in the right direction. So I'm going to have to fix that. So in order to fix that, I can go ahead and over here to the right, you'll notice that there is this pivot. I'm going to go ahead and just move the pivot off just a little bit and that'll allow me to grab the pivot. I'm going to go ahead and put the pivot right here in the center of the beginning of this fire. And now I can access the actual angle. I can also use the angle over here just to manipulate the angle or I can just kind of move it like so. And now I'm just going to move it so that it matches the actual mouth here or where I think it should be. So now I can take this transform I can load the transform up and now it fully animates with the head. And that was pretty easy and it only took a couple of seconds. I can go ahead and clean this up and tidy up just a little bit if I need to. And I can go ahead and bring this merge back and there we go. And the nice thing about this is I can still go ahead and add in after the merge here, I can bring in another transform and this is the transform where I can actually modify it with a shake. Now we can see him shaking and flying all over the place and now he could be attacking a town or whatever. As you can see, that's really easy. And the only thing is that you kind of need an effect. And I did look on Pixabay to find a free effect. I, I couldn't find a free effect that looked decent. I'm going to show you something else that you can actually use. And it's absolutely free and it actually comes with DaVinci already. Let's come up to the effects library and over here under templates, go ahead and twirl that down and you'll see this particles. Now over here to the right, there's this burning engine and I'm sure you've probably played with burning engine before, but maybe never knew that you could actually change the emitters. 
I'm gonna go ahead and load this into the viewer and let's take a look at what we can actually do to change this effect up. So if we look at it, it looks really cool and I've always been a really big fan of this burning engine. It is just absolutely epic looking, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it should be in a dragon's mouth. So let's see how we can actually change this up to be a little bit more like Dragon's Fire. So if I load this Shape 3D into the viewer, we can kind of see what it actually is. So it's this cylinder. Now a cylinder is what gives it that engine look. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And if we come over here to the right, we can see where the shape is. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it from cylinder to a cone. Now the cone is still really large. Now it's probably too big, but if we start to bring the radius down, maybe quite a bit, it's gonna look quite a bit more um, dragon fire-ish looking. So let's go ahead and delete the second emitter. Now I'm going to copy the first emitter using Commander Control C and Commander Control V in order to paste that same emitter and I'm gonna plug it into the other side of the emitter. So one of the sides is the fire and one side is the smoke. If you don't need both sides, you don't necessarily need to keep it. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. Well, there you can see it definitely looks more like a dragon's fire than what we had before. Doesn't look like a burning engine, just looks like maybe some kind of fire, some kind of smoke. You maybe can uh, tailor that a little bit more to make it look exactly the way that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to Command or Control G to group that just to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna bring this back over to where my comp is. Now I'm just gonna remove the effect and the luma cure, as this effect will not need a luma cure because it is already on a transparent background. But we will need to change the location a little. I'm actually going to reset it. All right, there we go. So, I mean, you know, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's better than nothing, which is exactly what you had prior to this. So pretty cool. And you can even use the face to mask this out a little bit if you needed to. So that's it for me. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.